Welcome back to Miss Sogram's Maths. Today we are looking at solving irrational equations, which simply means it's an equation that has an irrational number in it. Usually this is going to be written as thirds. Okay, so let's start with this example. So we have a um, square root happening there. We've got the square root of 3x, which means that we are dealing with an equation that is irrational. Now, to, we want to be able to get rid of that uh, square root. And the easiest thing is to make sure that we isolate it, isolate it first from the other bit. So if we do x minus 6 is equal to the square root of 3x, now we can square both sides. So very carefully make sure you're squaring all of the terms that you need to. So I've actually written them in with brackets to make sure that we don't miss anything. So we get x squared minus 12x plus 36 um, as that square over there. Now, if we square the square root of something, we will end up back with the original. So that's simply just 3x. Now we can rearrange that. So we get x squared minus 15x plus 36 is equal to 0. Uh, this one we can factorize. So we get x minus 12, x minus 3. So x is equal to 12 and 3. Now, the last step in this is to check whether our solutions are valid. So we need to put them back into here. Now, the reason for this is actually because of this line here where we squared both sides. Um, if I give you a for example, if we had put in a minus 2 squared, we would get that to be equal to 2 squared. Um, but we can't say that minus 2 is equal to 2 if we went, you know, back a step from um, that squares and went into square roots. So when we square something, we introduce extra, extra possible solutions that might not actually be valid in the original equation, and we have to check. All right, so let's check 12. Does 12 equal the square root of 3 times 12 plus 6? Okay, so 3 times 12 is 36. That's equal to 6 plus 6. So yes, that is um, equivalent. Let's check with 3. Does 3 equal the square root of 3 times 3 plus 6? Well, 3 times 3 is 9. Uh, the square root of 9 is 3 plus 6. That does not work. So our final solution is x equals 12 as the only valid solution that came out of our working out. All right, we'll do one more example just for luck. So we've got 3 plus 2 root x equals x. So let's first of all rearrange that so we can isolate that square root um, to be appearing on its own. So we get 2 root x is equal to x plus 3. And then we are going to square both sides. Make sure you don't miss out any of those middle terms. So we get 4 x on the left and we get x squared minus 6x plus 9 on the right. If we rearrange that we will end up with this quadratic which could be factorized or you can use completing the square quadratic formula as well. This one comes to um, x minus 9 x minus 1 so we get that x is equal to 1 or 9 and all that's left to do is to check for validity. So we test them out. So if x is 1, we get 3 plus 2 root 1 is equal to 1. Um, so root 1 is just 1. 3 plus 2, well, that's 5 equals 1. That's not a valid solution. If we try x equals 9, we get 3 plus 2 root 9 is equal to 3. Actually, no, it's equal to 9, x um, being 9. So we can check that 3 plus uh, 2 times 3 would equal 9. Yes, that is true. So our final answer is that x equals 9 is our valid solution.